is happening? We're not even done! Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to Stockholm Syndrome by Muse. And it's gonna be a live performance of it. It's live at Earl's Court in 2004. A lot of people agree that this was a great version to, to check out, so we're gonna jump into it. But before we do that, make sure to check out The State of the Scene, the best alternative music podcast out there. You can go check them out by clicking the link in the description down below. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to click that subscribe button. And also clicking the join button would really help me out so thank you okay let's do it this is stockholm syndrome by muse live at earl's court in 2004 let's go cheers we'll see you next time the song is called stockholm syndrome <laughs> syndrome damn <laughs> Again, with this one, this also has like a, you know, when I listened to Assassin, I said that it had like a proggy feel to it. This has like a little bit similar, but a little bit more metal, a little bit more like groovy. I don't know. Well, Assassin was also pretty damn groovy though. I, I don't know. It's similar. It's similar. They are, as always, killing it. Sorry for pausing, but as always, they are just killing it. I wonder if he walks around in his daily life just, <laughs> just doing that. Oh shit. I just feel like something fucked is gonna happen. Like here, it's gonna happen, isn't it? This is the definition of an anthem. When you think of like big arena fucking anthems, this is what you should be thinking about because this is the good kind, you know? Damn, I, I I wasn't sure like what was gonna happen. I was so lost, but that was the chorus then. Like that, oh my God. Okay. I love how it went like kind of noisy there. They just brought in the noise and then went to the chorus. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's such a cool like frame. Ah, oh. such a cool shot. Ooh. I'm also loving the like piano in the background there. Oh. oh, nice. Oh, they're going to bring that back later, aren't they? I feel like they're going to bring that uh, that back later and then just go into like a full on breakdown thing or something towards the end. That, that's that's my gut feeling. That's uh, oh. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, that synth is just ah. Oh. It's so sick. It really helps like elevate the, the, the chorus, I think. One thing as well about watching these performances is you get so lost in, 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 in watching them as well, you know? Not just listening to the music, but watching them perform it and how like into it they are. Like you could just watch the video without audio as well and it would still be like cool to watch, you know? Everything is very engaging here. That's a passionate vocal performance. <laughs> yeah, play that shit. Mm. I get like a ah. Uh, I get like a, a feeling of. I get the same kind of feel as when I watch uh, like videos of Rush playing live. Rush, for you guys who don't know, is one of my favorite bands of all time as well. And I get very much the same kind of feel from watching it, from watching this to like watching them. Like it's literally just them fucking going at it and just like slaying fucking everything. Oh man, I'm just becoming like a bigger and bigger Muse fan every time I do one of these videos. <laughs> and honestly, just in general, like every day, I just like them more and more. The more I think about it, I'm like, oh yeah, fucking Muse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is fucking magic. That's what I'm experiencing right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There are the screams! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? We're not even done! Oh my fucking god! Did he just destroy his entire fucking <laughs> drum kit? What the fuck is he- What is going on? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, what is- what is happening right now? When- when people- when you guys were like in the comments talking about, oh that's a great performance, you know? <laughs> I didn't expect it to be, uh, this fucking wild. Okay, let's finish it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
That's how they ended the fucking performance? The entire show. I need to see them live. I, I, I need to. I just have to. If they're still doing, like, shit that's even close to this even, you know? Even if they're doing, like, even if it's not as crazy as, you know, this specifically. I need to see them. I'm actually, like, a little bit, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't, um, that was so different for me like to do a reaction to because normally when i when when i've if i've done like live or like watch live performances either on like stream or or in videos i'm always very aware of the song itself and like the performance is you know just it's just cool hearing the hearing the song live or like what they do and they uh they're playing it well and whatever so like reacting to it like that is like okay yeah it's cool and then talking about it afterwards is like oh that's cool to see how they translated this into into live uh, format you know and blah, blah blah this is i have no fucking idea how to talk about what i just watched and listened to i have no clue i have no idea you guys broke me you just actually broke me i'm broken <sighs> And I thought the fucking assassin, um, performance was, like, crazy. Which it also was. But, like, this is just fucking... Th th <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people in the comments of this video also, like, talking about, like, this is how you end a show. And it's like, yes, this is how you fucking end a show. This is, like, this is it. Might just be the coolest fucking thing on the planet to play a song that you know fucking bangs as the final song, play it like a bunch of fucking legends, and then just completely let go and just let everything dissolve into pure chaos at the end, and then just say, cheers. <laughs> That's probably one of the most legendary fucking things you could ever pull off as a band. That's like, even for people who dislike Muse, it's like, there's no way anyone could watch that and be like, that's, uh, that's actually not legendary at all. That's just, yeah. Motherfucker, stop lying. There's like a full performance video, uh, of like the entire show. I, I gotta, I, I'm gonna have to watch that at some point. Holy shit. It's hard to talk that much about the song in here because <laughs> the song kind of took a backseat, you know? It was just kind of the performance that was <laughs> just... <sighs> next level you know the song is probably fucking great and it sounded great that just that chorus the way they did that it's like i said that that was that's like that's how you do huge arena sing-along fucking crazy shit it reminded me of uh, when i saw a ghost i saw ghost two days in a row in 2019 and they ended the shows with uh with playing monsters clock and at the end they had like the confetti shit just fucking blast out over the entirety of the of, of like the uh, of, of the venue and did a similar thing to how this was done but not as chaotic it was it was more just kind of like this was like watching an explosion and then that ghost performance was like a similar thing but it was like i don't know like a i don't know like lighting a big fire or something and just watching that hopefully that comparison made sense what i'm trying to say is that that's it reminded me of uh, one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and again, with the Rush comparisons, like, the, the way that they... I don't know, the- the- how, just how tight it was, is- it was- it's fucking crazy. Performances like this is what builds just an extreme amount, and almost demands an extreme amount of, uh, respect for a band. And I really appreciate that in- in bands. I love when they just- I love when a band knows that what we're doing right now is fucking sick. And we're gonna lean into it, and we're gonna look like the the, the, the coolest fucking uh, people in the world. But then also be a genuine band that you have a connection with, and, and that, the, the, you know, where the people are like genuinely humble and, and, and appreciate everything surrounding 
the band and the fan and the, the you know the fans and 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 just everything you've built you know it's the most fucking like rock star shit in the universe it's so like it's perfect it's so fucking cool i'm so glad i've started doing these muse videos because i'm having so much fun checking out this stuff especially like the live stuff like it's just <laughs> i'm gonna continue to do live videos because they're really fun but i don't know if every single muse reaction is gonna be a live performance but when it's crazy shit like this of course, I'm gonna check out the live the live stuff. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so fucking much for uh, for showing me this. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, make sure to click that join button if you wanna help support the channel even more. It really helps me out. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server. All the links will be in the description down below in addition to everything from the state of the scene. Also, let me know what other bands and artists you want me to talk about, review, react, and I will see you guys later.